My name is Sona, I'm the founder of Makers Cafe. Starting from the age of five, I think that was the first time that I remember I was making something. And then I was trained as an engineer and a product designer. When I graduated from Central St. Martins, I um, had a range of lampshades and mirrors, and they were all laser cuts. And then 3D printing was something that I was following. And Makers Cafe is a combination of laser cutting, 3D printing, and I always wanted to open a cafe as well. Because coffee is an icebreaker. People can grab a coffee, just take a seat at one of the tables and discuss projects and come up with ideas. And they can bring these files to us and then we can make those things happen, make those ideas into real objects. And what we do is, if they are lacking those skills and if they want to make those ideas happen, we sit down with them and then we provide a consultancy service where we charge just one pound a minute with no minimums. And after six, it becomes an events venue. Uh, we run intro classes to laser cutting, 3D printing, 3D modeling, and they are all free. The idea is to educate the public. They all have ideas and they are super curious about these technologies. They want to know more about the history and what's going to happen in the future. With Makers Cafe, one of our missions is to change the face of manufacturing. What's happening right now is every single item you buy from high street, they are manufactured in Far East. But with these technologies like laser cutting and 3D printing, we can enable people to make things on their doorsteps. And if you get to see how it's manufactured in front of your eyes, that's a very special moment, I think. Where we are is a prime location and it's the intersection of Kingston Road and Shoreditch High Street. All the big design agencies, architectural studios and creative people, they have their base in Shoreditch. And also we have Silicon Roundabout, which is the UK's answer to Silicon Valley. We need the right audience to make this happen and that's why I intentionally chose a prime location.